My name is Joe Artis Ratty. Um, um, I go by a performance name called Big Miho. I'm from Los Angeles, California. Not born and raised there, kind of like a, a traveler. I lived all over. I stayed in Puerto Rico for a little bit with my father. I stayed in New York. I went to college in the University of Idaho. I played football in Seattle, so um, I kind of been around. Um, but in a nutshell, that's who I am. <laughs> uh, represent Crump. Represent Crump. But I say freestyle. As far as what I like, Crump is something that God, I guess, you know, gave me the blessing to travel and meet people with. But when I dance, I don't call it anything. It's my movement. It's my movement to the music. Whether people want to call it crump, whether they want to call it whatever, is just my expression. I will say my first inspiration to dance would be uh, Tommy the Clown. It was weird. I wasn't a dancing type of dude in high school. Um, Tommy the Clown was my inspiration, but uh, Cesare Leron Willis was like my uh, my courage. He helped me get into dancing a little bit more. Uh, Cesare Leron Willis is tight eyes. Uh, when I met him in high school, I played football. I'm an athlete. That's what I like athletics. Um, but he was um, he was into theater and arts, and I seen him dance one time, and it was really captivating. And we ended up being friends and stuff like that. So you know hanging around each other, you end up getting to, you know, what your other friend is into. He came to my football games, I ended up dancing with him. And after a while, we ended up getting into this hip hop clown dancing type of ordeal. And from there, we just kept being creative, kept seeing other things, seeing poppers, uh, watching little footwork stuff with like house dancers do and trying to incorporate it to help with some other type of movements. I never thought in my life, I get very emotional every time I come over here, um, because this is uh, this is not common. I don't think it's common for people to grow up in the hood that don't have that many resources, and then to all of a sudden, a couple of years, I'm over in Europe teaching classes or having people want to fellowship with me that don't even speak my language, don't even speak my tongue, or don't even know me, but they know this this inspiration that comes out this dance. Like so, like I. That's one thing that I, I can say is grown. Like the growth is incredible, and I'm just thankful for it. You know, I don't. I don't think it's uh, it's better or anything like that because it's it's evolution. It's inevitable. You have to get better. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I hope I hope people are getting better. You know. So, but I, I like the growth. The growth is incredible. I never thought that it would be this big, and for us to be. You know, coming up with our own country battles, and now we have a represent U.S. team. <laughs> like that's that's funny to me. Like I, I applaud it. I'm happy about it. <laughs> right after, shortly after Rise, that's the first time. It was like 2006. It was the first time I came over to Europe with uh, Tide Eyes and and Koki. Um, but right after Rise, it kind of catapulted. The movie was out here. So after the movie, a lot of people wanted to find out who are their guys or who are some of the characters that were in the movie. And we kind of made things happen from there. But the first time I came overseas, we we went to Hamburg, Cardon, uh, Munich, Switzerland. And we all was traveling by like truck or a van. It was incredible. Every class was packed. I had no idea that people even wanted to learn how to dance. I thought it was going to be probably like five, ten people at the classes, but it was like damn near a hundred people at the classes. Like I was like, what the hell? But the people that um, actually sponsored it, they did a great job. They were good, good people. I think uh, unity is the, the, the difference. Um, I think you're, um, the people over here um, is very united as as a collective group more so than the people in the US. Um, I think things get uh, played out too fast in the US. Like people are not really um, grateful or they don't really like, 
is like they get they they get something they use it for a minute and then they just kind of like throw it to the side instead of honing on to the talent and constantly working at it like over here i see that from the youth i see that even from the people that have their own like culture of dance even the house scene over here is crazy live like there's a lot of organizations over here a lot of people giving out battles like all that's competition and things that don't happen as often in the U.S. where I'm at, in L.A., you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not really that big. So I would say unity is, like, one of the biggest things that's, like, a difference. But as far as the dance, um, you know, it's, it's, when something is created somewhere, it's more authentic. You know, like, they're going to catch the feel a little bit faster. I'm not going to say that, because I have a lot of, I know a lot of friends out here I really call my friends that can really dance their ass off. You feel me? So there's few people out here that have the same feel, but I don't think it's not as, the feel is not all the way as a collective over the U.S. Uh, I, but I could, it's, it's standouts, if that makes sense, if I'm making any sense by saying that. I've seen footage of EBS. I've seen my friends travel down here. This is my first time coming. From what I've seen, it was crazy. So I hope that I get the same feeling as what I've seen. I, and I'm pretty sure it's not going to be any different. <laughs> uh, I think the EBS tournament, World Tournament, is a it's a dope situation. I think it's big for you know countries to really involve themselves and show off their competitive nature. I think that's a great idea, and it's also showing that you know it doesn't matter whether you started the dance but if you have the same fire and the passion within it you could you could build any you, you could build anything anywhere it's not that many females that are competitive in the US you know they're not really taking it as serious as far as competing within the dance now they do have the 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 technicality with the dance and they use it in other people pieces or they do it for their own creative, you know, artistic situation, but as far as competing, it's not big in the U.S. It's, it's a lot bigger over here, and it can get a lot stronger, but, you know, the mentality has to be just the same as the males. That's the only reason why the dance is big is because the males are competing as much. They're taking it that serious. So it's just it's, it's just effort, you know what I'm saying? Like, if, if you're wondering why something's not going that way, it's because you're not putting the same energy as the rest of the people. The rest of these dance styles have been here for, well, the ones that I think of, like b-boy, pop, lock, you know what I'm saying? Like, popping has been around since, like, the 80s, you know, locking has been around damn near the, the 70s when they were, you know, like, it's sh it, it, we can't just, poof, oh, we're, we're, we're just as big as you, like, we're the pups, you know what I'm saying? It's going to take years. I'm only 20, 27 years old, and I'm an OG. Get the fuck out of here, you know what I'm saying? I, I haven't even fully lived life, you feel what I'm saying? Like, this this dance is is young. It has way, it, it's, it's not even a, a teen, it's barely a teenager, you know what I'm saying? Like, we got a lot of time to grow, so I'm, I'm, I'm not in no rush. <laughs> it's going to be here forever, you know, if I die, it's still going to happen, you know what I'm saying? So, holler at me 20 years from now when it's still here. <laughs> Shout out to EVS, the whole staff. Thank you for the interview. But yeah, thank you for bringing me out. I appreciate it.